So it's Niagara has been getting some good looks from three, not shooting a great percentage of two of ten. Nice lob. Adari Richmond takes it in from Gerard. Dolajai, the senior, 6'10, 201. And getting to the rim after the steal was Richmond. Made over 200 threes in his career as a player. Four times to the NCAA tournament with Coach K in his playing days. Easy two, Mike, inside. Donald shooting that one from the falls. Tipped away. Richmond does not have the numerical advantage. Oh, windmill spin off the square and in. Points for Kratholm. For the orange, Mike, tonight, Garrier leading the way with 23 points on the turnover. Braswell accelerating to the rim. That was a very deep three attempt by Gerard. And a steal for Richmond. Look out. Yeah, again, that's a perfect example. Watching the teams warm up today. That's one of my favorite things. They stand behind the basket, watch the teams warm up, but no fans. Orange shooting 68% from the field. Very high basketball IQ. And a steal by Griffin to look for Richmond. Nearly picked off. Numbers for Northeastern, blocked by Richmond. Hello. By Northeastern, and they break the pressure. This is what they love about the freshman. Uh, his wingspan, that's a great block. Eight point lead for the Bulls, who won here two years ago against the Orange. And they were the number 14 team in the country, and there's Kadari Richmond driving to the basket. They headed to the final five minutes of the first half, and the Orange down double figures. Richmond on the floor with uh, Griffin, Beheim, Gurrier, and Dolezal. Yeah, and, and if, if it does present itself, it'll be the last six, five minutes of this game. Are shots flat? Are guys short? Are they not closing out? The lead is three for Carolina in the basketball. And that got knocked away. Here's Richmond with the turnover. Probably needed the double clutch right there. Well, big guy, you go right up with that. Richmond to Dolajai. And timeout called for by Jeff Capel. Down his first bucket of the game. And the first for Syracuse in a minute. And Syracuse coming away with the turnover. Brooks got beat on that play. And up and in Richmond. Now Syracuse on a mini 6 0 run, but they desperately needed that. Richmond kicks it here for Griffin. Yes. And now the Orange have really come alive. They've tied the game at 11. And Richmond finding his way into the paint and finding teammates to tie the game at 11. Who had missed several games to a hamstring injury. Leaning inside. That won't drop, but controlled by Syracuse on the baseline and a stuff by Gurrier. Richmond on a dribble. Nice look there for the stuff by Gurrier. And that's something else that Richmond can do for you. He happens to be a Hall of Fame coach <laughs> with a national championship and multiple Final Fours to his resume. Threading his way in. Richmond for a sweet basket. Pretty good stretch, certainly for home games. I love the place to be packed with fans, of course. And on the slam way up on the other end, it's Richmond. Nice, both the terrific play, both ends of the floor. Dolezal that time, the Virginia Tech got the bucket. Dolezal, you mentioned free throws for Virginia Tech. Might be too late, but perhaps that could get them back into this game. Second in league and makes an attempt from the line, but look at Richmond spin cycle. Five points in transition in the, in the game. Then he'll beat the shot clock. Kadari Richmond a factor in this second half and a double digits with 11 points back to the three. And who's the next two and a half bigger for Syracuse or NC State, JC? Huge for Syracuse. Find a rhythm, that matchup zone, try and find some stop. Two for Manny Bates, the lead nine. We're inside two minutes to go first half. And Dolezal, nice layup. And Sebron, he's got seven here in the first half. The other way, the orange answer. Sebron against Richmond. 
Finds a seam, challenges, and gets the bounce. Packers splits in the backboard, trying to generate as many possessions as possible. Here's Richmond backing down on Moore, just using his 6-5 frame to pour in his fifth field goal. Four shot blocks, 13 rebounds, a, a, a slew of those on the offensive glass, and scoring 17. And what a move by Richmond. The ability to inside two minutes, but here, Richmond on a penetration, spin to win. It's the kind of plays you get with Richmond in the ball game. He quickly to four for Coach Keats in the Wolfpack. Almost nine minutes gone first half. Griffin to Richmond. Shot fake, slips it inside, catch and lay up for Golajan. Well, the one thing that you would assume that he's going to improve on is the offensive end, but look at him defensively. He is amazing at the top of that zone. His presence felt for the Orange, just getting into the passing lane, and more importantly, turning those turnovers into points. Year by year, been at the top of the league in steals. And Kadari Richmond gets them back to that. He's putting up Tyler Ennis numbers, back-to-back -back steals Look for Richmond. <laughs> there you go. Like a great defensive back, laying in the weeds, waiting for the pass to go up, and then all of a sudden taking it down. There's no question about that. That's where your staff comes into play, making sure that their eyes are out there and they're helping you see everything you need to see. Did a great job. Richmond gets into the paint, elevates up. I'll tell you what, Notre Dame looks confused and another steal. Syracuse Terrific. in transition. Terrific job Rich. of Richmond, who's one of the steal leaders in the league. Kept alive by Dolajai. Hit the rim, huh? It did. The shot clock wasn't reset. The officials alertly just told the players to play on. And Richmond a strong drive. And the finish with the left. And this is what Duke expected out of this pair of freshman guards. Stewart and Roach, they've been excellent. Gary Richmond, the drive. Griffin has picked up the scoring slack. Yeah, Eight unanswered on, by Syracuse. Griffin's on fire right now. He's got to maintain that aggressiveness to keep his team hanging around. There's a heat check. Syracuse now has got to get the ball to the paint, score it. Then they've got to start extending their defensive pressure to get back in this ball game. Richmond, great crossover to Edwards. Kadari Richmond. Bayheim thought it should have been Syracuse's ball out of bounds. Didn't hurt them in that instance. Richmond all the way to the bucket. He lays it in. That is how I know him. Yes, he uh, he he actually texted me when he was a seventh grader and asked if he could come work out with a couple of guys that I was already training and showed up in the gym and never left. Edwards. Might have gotten away with a travel. The Wolfpack certainly thinks he did. He laid it in. And Syracuse brings some pressure now. And it works. Richmond deflected Beekman's pass. Richmond lobs it up. And Gary the dunk. Fuck it. They set up the full court pressure. Virginia turning it over. And if you're a Wahoo fan, you've seen this before.